Number eight, write the ionic equation for dissolution and the solubility product, which is the KSP, they write the expression for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. And then we have strontium sulfate, SR, SO2. Okay, so we have to write a balanced ionic equation. Ionic means that there's going to be ions, going to be charges. And dissolution means that we're dissolving this slightly soluble compound. If you are slightly soluble, that means at equilibrium, you're going to majoritively remain as a solid. A little bit of this will break down, but since a little bit does break down, we have to write the equation for it. So let's start it off. I have the strontium sulfate, SRO4, and that's a solid, but at equilibrium, you're gonna have some ions. Remember, an ionic compound will always break down into two ions, the positive charge and the negative. We have to find out where the break is here. But I see an SO4. I've seen this so many times throughout the chemistry course, right? SO4 is a polyatomic ion, and polyatomics never break up. So I have to put the break between the strontium the SR and the SO4. This is kind of going all the way back to like Gen Chem 1, right? Where we made these ionic compounds, now we're just breaking them apart again. So I have SR plus the SO4, okay? Now there's a couple of things. I need to find the charges, right? Because the ions are what's going to be made. Now generally we can use the, co uh, the subscripts to crisscross back up. There was one SR, and out of the whole strontium uh, sulfate, there was one sulfate. So technically, this one crisscrosses up, telling me that the sulfate is a, a negative one charge, and this other one crisscrosses up, telling me that the strontium was a plus one charge. However, sulfate being a negative one, that never happens, and SR being a plus one, SR is in group two. This is a compound that was simplified. Keep in mind that any time that you see sulfate, SO4, it's always a negative two charge. No exceptions. So highlight that, box that off. So since we have a negative one here, technically, this has to be multiplied by two. This ionic compound was simplified. But whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other side. And that's how we get the correct charges. So this would be SR plus 2 and SO4 minus 2. Since I now have charges, these are going to be aqueous. And once after we do this, just make sure, is this equation balanced? Maybe I'll just pull this a little bit down here. Is this equation balanced? Yes, it is. I only had one strontium on the left side, one strontium, and then I have one sulfate, so one sulfate, so we're good. So this is your ionic equation for dissolution. Now we have to use this to find out the KSP expression. And the KSP expression is just a simple formula that's this one right here. KSP is just equal to the concentration of the products because your reactant is always going to be a solid. And remember, no solids or liquids allowed in any K expression. So KSP, there's no exception. So KSP is going to be equal to the concentration of the SR plus two times the concentration of the sulfate, the SO4 two minus, or you could say minus two, it doesn't really matter. And then for KSPs, just make sure that you're raising them to the proper coefficients. But in this case, there was only one strontium and one sulfate. So you would both raise these to the first, but anything raised to the first is the same. So for this case, we could leave it as this, but just be careful of that because some of them will have coefficients and then you'll have to put like a two here. All right. So that's the end for this question. What did you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. 
I hope you guys are doing well. Check out the channel. We also have uh, physics videos and math videos at the moment with uh, more in store for you coming your way. All right. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.